So as a lot of you are starting to incorporate automated insulin delivery systems into your practice, I think it's really exciting to talk about the future of automated insulin delivery systems. Just as cell phone manufacturers don't come out with one model of a cell phone and then stop innovating, the diabetes technology companies are continuing to build on the innovations that you've already seen. And so in our technology research team at the Barbara Davis Center, we're very excited to be starting the next generation of automated insulin delivery research. This next round of research will involve systems that start to use cloud-based real-time tuning of systems. And so the parameters that we as pr providers continue to update in our visits will start to have some decision support from the manufacturers, as well as some automated real-time tuning of those parameters for patients so that they can be updated every day or every week and not just every three months by us. And so it won't require the same level of provider expertise to tune the systems, but to provide real-time feedback on what tuning is needed based on cloud-based data. The other big thing that we have coming now is starting either close to fully closed loop or actually fully closed loop system research. So we will likely see that users interacting with their system will continue to beat users not interacting with their system. But for users that want to take a step back, want to take a break from diabetes for a few days, want to go out on a Friday night and just be like their peers, the systems will be able to provide automated meal dosing in a way that is robust and, as I like to say, provides an acceptable floor for diabetes control, where the level of control that will be achieved by just the system alone will be very, very acceptable and better than the average control was 10 years ago. And so, so it's really exciting to see the previous generation now rolling out additional uh, FDA approvals coming out every few months and the next generation starting its research cycle so that hopefully within the next few years we're starting to bring cloud-based tuning and fully closed loop systems to people with diabetes all over the world.